Hey guys, it's Species Sims, and we are back with more Amnesia Memories. God, I love this game so freaking much, can't even tell you. I actually, like, watch the end, because I don't normally watch the full intro, um, where they do it with her, the song and everything, the intro song, but, oh my god, like, I did just watch the whole thing. But it just gives me all the feels, I don't know why, it's just like, I don't know what it is, it makes me have all the feels. It's totally like the beginning of, like, like the theme song and everything to, like, a TV show, because I'm pretty sure this is an actual anime. I need to goddamn watch this, but I, of course, hope there's at least English subtitles, because... Uh, anyway. Oh, you have a visitor. Be right there. Oh, that's right. The doorbell was ringing. Ah, it's Shin and Toma. Looks like they came to see you. Hey. How do you feel? I figured we could talk about the movie and visit you at the same time. Wow, word of that movie is really getting around. I wonder if you could really just say, I quit in a cutesy way and get away with it later. You seem to be doing fine. Want to go outside? It doesn't feel right to enter the room of a girl living alone. Are you stupid? We're here to visit. We can't take her outside. She needs to rest. You're the idiot, Toma. You worry way too much. Uh, that was three days ago, wasn't it? You seem fine now. It would be better to rock around a bit. Oh, God, the piercing right there. I, I noticed that the last time, didn't I? Yeah, it just... It hurts just to look at it. Oh. What will you do? Sorry for showing up all of a sudden just to tell you this, but don't push yourself. Well, your body is fine already, right? If it wasn't for the thing with Yukio, we'd love to get some fresh air outside. But if these two are with you, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Maybe you should talk about Yukio. Ten minutes later. Ten minutes later. Huh. Who's that? Sounds suspicious. Oh, you've never met Yukio before, Shen? Nope. What is... Uh, does he visit... Blah 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 a lot. I saw him often until recently. He got a lot he's got a lot of hair, with kind of an androgynous face. He really stands out. You'd notice if you saw him. Never seen him. I don't like this. And he only visited on days when Spacey was working? We're never on the same shift. That's probably why I've never seen this guy before. That might be the case. And he was always asking for her to take his orders. Wow, that's scary. He didn't seem like a bad person, though. I wonder what he was doing. What are you talking about? He was definitely targeting her. I don't get your overly trusting, see the good in everyone attitude. I mean, these are probably not the voices I'm going to use, like, because obviously when we go down a Shin's path or whatever, I'm not going to make him sound like really bland. But he just looks kind of boring right now. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I just, <laughs> I was just trying to make spice up a little bit. Because, you know, I mean, normally I could totally do voices, but I really just. Don't want them all sounding crazy. And you doubt everyone too much. Oh, I heard a rumor that a regular customer stopped coming because of an issue with the love triangle. Was that the same guy? Ah, uh, that's right. There was a rumor like that. Right, now that I think about it, Sawa was all excited about it. But there's no love triangle. None whatsoever. Right, Spacey? I was actually thinking that rumor was kind of credible. What? Why? Oh, I see. Did the guy uh, look like he was seriously that in love with her? Yes, he did. He was always looking over at her. Wait, really? He kind of gazed at her and had this happy yet sad look on his face. I wonder what it was. It was complicated expression. It was almost like a look you'd have when talking with someone about old memories. Although I don't know why. Well, regardless, I seriously do think that he was in love. But that doesn't make it a love triangle. She said that, too. It would seem so. Sounds like it was one-sided. Oh, sounds like it was one-sided. He could have been a pervert. <laughs> pervert. I love that. Sorry, just funny. But I haven't seen him lately. I even had to talk with the manager about it. Maybe he changed his strategy. You should be careful, like your boyfriend said. Did that help us at all? It seems like he really treasures you. That's good. Why didn't you like him before? He seems like a nice guy. Shin, that's none of our business. It's personal. What? It doesn't seem like a problem. If she thinks I'm being nosy, she can tell me herself. You hold back too much from all that worrying, Toma. That's normal. As long as you're not overly narrow-minded. 
Shin actually disliked me for the longest time. You're his brother. Isn't he supposed to not like you? Are they brothers? Because you're annoying. See? It's fine. It's pretty normal to start liking someone you disliked once before. I see. That's right. <laughs> That's reassuring. Anyway, about that movie. We were told to talk about old memories we've had with you. Yes, please do. Ah, uh, this is going so smoothly. All those hard times we went through alone together are like a dream now. Do you not love me anymore, Orion? Are you trying to get away from me? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's all thanks to Ken. It really is nice to have someone around who can lend you their strength. Yeah, he's not so bad, I guess. Um, I've been thinking. No matter what happened in the past, we'll never forget how kind he's been to us. I wonder if Ken has any intention of sharing what happened with you two before. Okay, we didn't freaking learn anything, I guess. Oh, you have a visitor. Who could it be today? Wait, it's Kent. Why is he here? The conference is tomorrow. Is he done preparing? Uh, I guess you should just open the door for now. Mind if I come in for a while? Aw. I kind of am starting to really like him. I mean, okay, I was liking him before. I mean, he was totally a robot and I wanted to strangle the motherfucker in the beginning. But, like, you know, he's kind of growing on me. What the hell? Sorry, that was me. I was contacted by Sawa. It seems things are progressing. How much have you remembered? What did you remember? And what did you think about it? Do you still think it's okay to talk to me? You won't try to run me off. It is okay for me to be away from you now? While I'm away, will you start thinking that you don't want to see me anymore? It seems a male friend of yours visited yesterday, and Sawa said he really helped cheer you up. What kind of relationship do you two have? Is he able to prov uh, provide something to you that I can't? Oh, dear Lord, Kent. Well, what's going on? He seems to be really flustered. I already know that you're a woman who can form friendships with men as well. Friends are friends, and nothing more than that. I understand that, yet I start thinking that I could lose you, and it's dreadful. You remember things I don't want you to remember, and someone else besides me will ease your pain. I start to think that even at this very moment you dislike me just like you did before. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> oh, I feel for the little weirdo. I can't stop thinking about such ideas, and I can't do anything. I refuse to have you come over, yet in the end, I couldn't help but come here and check on you. This is ridiculous. I'm starting to dislike myself. But still, I couldn't just sit by and do nothing. Tell me, Spacey, what did you remember? Is that really true? Yes. You can say with certainty that regardless of what you remember, nothing will change. Even if you remember that you disliked me before... You can still talk to me like this. When I think that I can make you cry again, I become so afraid and confused. I'm sorry, I want to think it'll be okay too. At the very least, you think it'll be okay right now. And that thought gives me a little bit of courage. Oh, I just want to hug the little weirdo. I said that like two seconds ago, didn't I? Stop making me feel! I'm playing way too many romance gamey things right now because they're just giving me the feels and I'm going to lose it. Hey, Spacey, would you mind telling Kent what I'm about to tell you? There's something I want to tell him. As an outsider, there's something that might be helpful to hear from my perspective. Ready? What is it? The spirit wants to talk. Um, Kent, no matter what she remembers, I believe that she won't look at you the same way as before. You know that, right, Spacey? She's seen, that, seen the kind side of you this whole time. It isn't the same as before, when all she knew was your crabby and unsociable self. He's like, uh... This is just my opinion, but I think that she truly does like you now. That's just my view, though. But I've been at her side this entire time, so I doubt I'm mistaken. Spacey, I want you to write this down, too.
Uh, I see. Thank you. Huh, you won't write it? Well, I guess something this important isn't something for me to talk about alone. Thanks to that spirit, I feel as though I've calmed down a little. I'm grateful. I see. That's good. Anyway, I want you to do your best at the conference tomorrow. We'll both come to watch. You'll come to watch? Would you even be able to understand the contents of my thesis? Um, that's... No, we wouldn't really understand, but... This is a matter of support. We'll be there to cheer you on, even if we don't get what you're talking about. Right, Spacey? It's so fucking bizarre. In other words, I've got another assignment. I need to explain it in a way that even you will understand. I'll return to the university. Now that I have a goal, I believe I'll be able to concentrate. You can look forward to tomorrow. I may have to improvise, but I'll stand in stage and explain it as if I'm speaking directly to you. And he's off. That's great, Spacey. Let's cheer him on. Bird, you can't sit on my computer while I'm trying to play a game. It's the day of Kent's conference before we knew it. I wonder if he's making the final preparations now. And what time does it start? We never actually asked. Maybe we should call Iki and ask. We still need to come up with a time to meet. Hello? Sorry, is this about meeting up? We've been kind of in a rush. I know it's about time to go pick you up, but Ken still isn't done preparing. I'm helping him out now. Oh, for now. Wait, it's almost time for him to start? Huh? Sorry, just a second. You forgot your notes. Will you be all right? You will? Okay, then. But that's not like you, Ken. Wow, they really are in a rush. Sorry. We're so frantic. Anyway, I'll go pick you up and things settle down a bit. Just wait a little longer. I'll see you later. He forgot his notes. That sounds kind of bad. Ken was in such a big rush to prepare the last few days. I wonder if he remembers all of the material. Oh, this kind of hurts. He was probably all tense because of you. We'll go get his notes. Yeah, that sounds good. That might be for the best. It is at least partially our fault that he couldn't fully prepare. You'll have to go outside alone, but this is an emergency. Yeah, for now, let's just head over to Ken's house. Oh my god, we might die. I just thought of that. We might not be able to get in, but it's still morning, so it's possible someone might be home. I was just thinking that maybe it would be nice we'll go get that's a good thing to do for him, a nice thing, but oops. And if no one's there, we can go to the university. Wait, don't sprint like that. You've been indoors for most part ever since you collapsed. It's dangerous to start running suddenly. You see, here comes a car. Huh? Did someone just push your back? Whoa! Are you okay? Someone fucking pushed us in front of a car. It hurts. Ow. Did that car hit me? Huh? What is this? Why do I remember this feeling? I've been hit by a car before. Kuro! No, Kuro, wake up! Kuro, Kuro! Don't die, Kuro. Oh, that's right, because we had a dog, so this is, uh... There you go. Because remember, he said something about... Ken was saying that we used to walk a dog, and I'm like, what happened to my fucking dog? I've been forgetting to feed it. Now we know. It seems you ran over her dog with your car. Uh, yeah, but the dog just jumped out of nowhere, and... I know, there's no fault on your part. But as you can see, the dog is gravely injured. Don't you feel at least some responsibility? Seems to still be breathing. Could you help us bring the dog to a veterinarian? Uh, yes, of course. There you go, Spacey. Carry the dog into the car. How did I forget this? Kuro isn't here. The dog I brought from home. We were always together, but not anymore. He died back then. He isn't here anymore. I see. Am I going to end up the same way? Ah, hello, Spacey. Sorry it took so long. Who are you? What? 
A nurse? An accident? She was in an accident? I'm like, no, I'm just a friend. I see. Okay. I understand. I'll tell him. Thank you very much. Oh, We ruined life for him. Ken! What is it? The slide's just finished burning. Oh, I see. That's good. But that doesn't matter right now. Calm down and listen carefully. Spacey was involved in an accident. <laughs> Can't believe I used my own name. I'm so dumb. Look, he looks horrified from behind. When I called her cell phone just now, someone at the hospital answered it. They brought her in and were asking if she had any family around. Apparently, she's still unconscious, but her injuries were light, and there are no abnormalities in her brainwaves, so she should be fine. Ken, do you know the contact information for her family? Her family lives far away. I doubt she, I doubt even she knows the number to contact them herself. What? Is her family's situation that complicated? There are various circumstances. I'm the only one who knows her situation. It would be appropriate for me to go in as a substitute, but... It's already time. Her injuries were light, correct? That's what the nurse said. If you... What would you do at a time like this? The presentation is important, and it could have a heavy br a bearing on my life. But the woman I'm dating was involved in an accident and was brought to a hospital. Despite her injuries being light, would it really be okay for me to leave her like this? Ken, I can't answer that. This is something for you to decide. Do what you feel is right. Would it be possible to change the order of the presentations? I don't have much time until the conference begins. If I can do my presentation first, it shouldn't may take much time to finish. Wait right here. I'll go negotiate with the committee. No, I'll back you up. I think I'm better at convincing people. It would be the best it would be best if the person in charge was a woman. You have my thanks, EQ. Well, that's nice. I mean, I'm not going to be like, what a dick he's going to do. It's like, that's important to him. And if my injuries are light and I'm not dying, I would expect him to... No, that's fine. Do your presentation and then come see me. A hospital? I'm still alive. Looks like I didn't join Kuro. All right, I remember. Back then, I told Kent, I hate you. Oh. How long are you going to act this way? The dead will never return. You should have already realized that your pets will die long before you do. Shut up, no! Birdies, are you gonna die? You're supposed to live forever! What a dick. If you have time to grieve, you should reflect on the experience and make use of it for the future. The first problem was that you uh, continued using the same leash until it frayed and snapped. The fact that the dog ran off the moment the leash snapped means you didn't discipline it properly. These two problems need to be corrected when you decide to raise the next dog. Also, there were issues with your reaction to that kind of emergency. I happened to be here this time, but what if you were alone? I'd lose my shit again. You likely wouldn't have noticed that it was still possible to save the dog's life. Although it didn't matter in this instance, since we didn't make it in time. I believe you should consider taking those types of measures before such an emergency can occur a second time. <laughs> Why would you say such a thing? What? How? How can you say that? I know there's a lot I need to consider about this situation. I know Kuro died because I was an inexperienced owner. You don't need to tell me. But is it really something I need to think about right now? Is it bad for me to miss Kuro and be sad that he died? Just stop it, please. I want to be alone. Accidents sometimes can't be avoided. Everyone makes mistakes. But I believe learning from those mistakes would be the greatest form of respect for that dog's lost life. She's going to fucking punch you in the nuts. When you raise your next dog, you can... Just stop it already! Go away! Leave me alone! I hate you, Kent! I hate you! Oh my god, I feel so bad. He was being a complete douche, but... Oh... I see. Kent was worried about that all this time. I thought it was something he didn't care about at all. I'm a little happy, but if possible, I didn't want to remember this.
Okay, you seem to be doing well. You'll probably need to stay in the hospital for a few days for observation. Have you contacted your family? Excuse me. Ah, oh, Kent. Are you family? We'd like to discuss her hospital arrangements. No, we can't get in contact with her family. As for her hospital arrangements, I could take care of that as her representative. Is that okay? Very well. The required items are written here. Please prepare them by tonight. I'll come back later. Oh, I'll come back later. Until then. Ken came. But it's still early. What about the conference? You seem better than expected. I'm relieved. Oh, about the conference. I presented first, then left immediately. There was supposed to be a get-together after the conference, but I don't really care about that. I just wanted to see that you were safe as soon as I got out. To think you'd be involved in an accident. It's exactly as that man said. You can't be left alone. Oh, that reminds me. It felt like someone pushed me. Could it have been Yukio? You can't be he alone here tonight. I'm worried about you. If you don't mind the idea, could I stay here overnight? I want to see how you're doing, at least for a day. I'm sorry f for leaving me alone. I'm sorry for leaving you alone. I think that's what he meant. He's going to be here. That's good. If Kent's here, I'll be okay. I wonder when I started feeling this way. Hey! Hey, Spacey, can you see me? Hmm, all right. Ah, oh, you finally looked at me. Yeah, I put some effort so you could see me temporarily. It seems like you can't see me anymore, and you can't even hear my voice. I was by your side the whole time. I saw Ken come rushing to see you, too. Such passion. But it seems like it's time for us to part ways. It was only a short time, but it was really fun being with you, playing around and fighting with so many people. It looks like I didn't end up ruining your life by making you lose your memories. That's a relief. In fact, I might have even been your very own Cupid. Or am I just being egotistical? Yeah, you know, Kent's a little insensitive, but he's also a really nice guy. It seems like you remembered the sad memory he was worried about, though. It's okay. The two of you now could get through anything, no matter how sad the memory was. That's why I'll be going now. Get along with Kent! It's okay to fight once in a while, but when you do, just remember that being honest about your feelings will help you make up. And if you're happy, I'll be able to not worry and get back to doing my work. Once we're separated, you'll probably forget me. But I'll never forget you. Even after I return to my world, I'll be praying for your happiness. Bye-bye, Spacey. Take care. Oh, bye, Orion. Bye-bye, Orion. It was really fun being with you, too. I get to talk! I wonder if she actually has a voice in the voice version of the game. You know, because I muted the voices just because I would be so distracted with Japanese and then having to read over them. I see. So you remembered that time. Yes. I was thinking about that while you were sleeping as well. Anyway, what did you think when you remembered? It is okay for me to be here. Do you still wish to talk to me? <sighs> Although, it wasn't really that long ago. I'm glad that you don't mind. But to be honest, I still can't settle down over it. I must sound selfish. Is this really okay? You won't tell me to leave. You don't want to revoke our current dating status. Spacey, I made you cry, but you still forgive me. Someone... Someone close to me said this, I think. They said it's okay. They said I wouldn't see you the same way as I did before. Yeah, that's right. Even knowing the past, I can't see him the same way as before. That's because I know now that Ken is a truly kind person. It's okay. Spacey... I'll do my best not to ever make you cry again. If there's anything I do that you don't like, tell me. I will treasure you. Oh! Yes. <laughs> that was so terrible. Yes.
Uh, we're doing... Okay, I don't think we're going to get a bad end. I don't know if we're going to get the good ending or the normal one. But I don't think we're going to get a bad ending. I have a feeling. I mean, because we're almost done, so. Hello! We came to visit! Sawa! Mina! The loud people are here again. Wait, Kent! It's been a while! No way, Ken! I didn't think you'd be here! Have you been staying in her hospital room? That's a surprise! We were really shocked, though. You were in a traffic accident, right? You look a lot better than expected. When do you get out of the hospital? Um... Tomorrow. Why do you need to answer for her, Kent? I'm here in place of her family. Her parents live too far away to visit. What? Her family? Wow, it's like you two are already married. Married? As the person closest to her besides her family, I simply came here to watch over her. He's blushing. He wants to marry me. <laughs> her family isn't even here, but you're attending to her, Kent. Doesn't that mean you're even closer than her family? Um, you're not saying staying here overnight, are you? It's about time for you two to leave. What? So I was right? If you don't leave, I will. Well, wait a minute. You could tell us more details about it. Okay, okay. We're very sorry. We asked a little too much. Seeing how Ken seems to be mad now, we should stop teasing him. What? But I wanted to hear more. Anyway, back to the main issue. I'm glad you seem to be doing pretty well. The manager and the others were worried too, you know. Ah, that's right. He said to get plenty of rest. What about the man, Yukio? Huh? Yukio? We haven't seen him around. Why do you ask? Wait a second, was that cheating rumor really true? Sawa, didn't I tell you before that this man is suspected of stalking her? Yeah, I heard that, but... Just like I said the other day, he hasn't come by the cafe in a while. Maybe you're just overthinking it. I don't know about that. I actually heard some pretty scary news. Wait, what? I heard the day before yesterday an unidentified man was found dead after falling from the roof of an apartment complex in the neighborhood. And that man's features were pretty similar to Yukio's. Because he was gonna throw us up would get thrown again. That was the thing. I bet he throws us off the building. I think I think everything is bad in his world. Maybe that's just coincidence. Maybe, but that rooftop is in the perfect position to see into this room. They said the railing the man was leaning on collapsed due to rust, and it happened in the middle of the night. If you think about what he was doing in that place at that time of night, it's actually pretty creepy. Oh, so he could have been, like, spying on us? You're saying he could have been looking into this room and fell by accident? Isn't that really scary? I doubt that's anything more than fantasy. What? Really? If that man really was Yukio, we'd be safe now. Uh, but the basis for that conclusion is far too weak. That's not what I mean. It's scary because he could have died with a grudge. Again, meaningless fantasies. Spacey, as long as we don't know for certain that man was Yukio, I can't leave you alone. Yukio can't catch a break, even in a story. <laughs> he really can't. Yukio, is he the person who pushed me during the accident? I wonder if the person who died really was him. That reminds me, why were you alone at the time of the accident? EQ was supposed to pick you up. Um. Ah, right, I heard that she ran off to get something you forgot, Ken. Really? You didn't know? That's what Iki was guessing anyway. That was a very important conference, wasn't it, Kent? But in the end, you quickly finished your presentation and come to the hospital, right? It's got to be love. But because you were able to finish, your application to study abroad was accepted. Is it really okay for you two to be separated? That hasn't been decided yet. The official results will be disclosed on the 31st. Although, it's already pretty much decided. Studying abroad. That's right. Kent was going to study abroad when he finished the conference. Soon we will be able to see each other. I'm home! It's really quiet. I wonder why I feel like I was always talking to someone here. Who was it? It wasn't Kent. Till recently, we were always just fighting, after all. 
There weren't many times when he came in here. Have I forgotten something again? I really wish I could remember Orion. It's a little lonely. Oh. Oh. I don't know if we should... It's already the 31st. Okay. Um, okay, so this is probably the end. So I'm just going to keep playing even though it might be a longer part. So, Oh, someone's here. Could it be Sawa or maybe Kent? Yes, I'll be right there. Ah, Kent, hello. I just received a formal decision about my studying abroad. Oh, would you like to go for a little walk? I've been thinking for a while about what to say to you. However, I can't come up with the appropriate words. I feel that it's presumptuous to assume that you'd miss me. However, I also can't imagine that you'd be happy about this either. Do you mind if I interpret the complicated look on your face in my own way? Spacey, to fully confess the truth, I'm unable to become happy about this decision. I wouldn't be able to see you. The three days before the conference were painful enough. I don't know if I'd be able to endure an entire year. I don't know if you'd welcome me back with the same smiling face I've grown accustomed to when I return, either. I might speak and behave like I'm tough, but I'm actually afraid to go through with this. How pathetic of me. Is it really okay for me to dream of a future with you? Spacey, it's one year. Can I ask you to wait for me, for just one year? Do you mind if I hope for you to welcome me back when I return? Yes, I'll be waiting. Please come back soon. You can't visit at all? Thank you. Just wait. I think that's the normal kind of ending. I don't think that's the really good one. Because I feel like the good ending would be like he doesn't go. Look, I'm tearing up! I'm so happy to see him! Aw, at least we got a good ending if this is the normal one. Kent, you need to go. I know, you don't have to say that. Oh, I'm tearing up because he's leaving. I thought he was coming back for a visit. I'm sorry. Could you tell me you'll be lonely? That you want to see me again? I don't care if it's a lie. If you just say that, I'll believe you. And we'll, and we'll be able to let go of these hands. I'll be lonely. I want to see you again. That's not a lie. I'll be waiting for you to return. Kent... They're going to finish boarding soon. I know. I'll go. I'll send you a message. I might not know what to write, and it might end up being brief just like before, but I'd be happy even with just good morning and good night. I'll be waiting. If possible, I'd be happy if you replied to me. Um, that's... It seems you were holding back before because you thought you'd appear soft. But I'm correct to assume that you don't dislike me as much now, right? Of course. I'm sorry about before. I'll reply to you from now on. Yes, I have high hopes for that. I got all the feels! I feel like I've dreamed for a long time about the day that I could see you smile. I want to believe that I won't wake up from that dream, even if I let go of these hands. I'll be off. Goodbye. I think we got the normal end. I think the good end would have been staying. But at least we didn't get a bad ending. So I'm okay. But I really think I fucked it up in the beginning. Um, so I'm probably going to go through uh, a walkthrough and do all the right stuff to get the good ending. So that we can definitely get the Joker world when we go through all the guys. I won't play that on screen though. Ah, it's a message from Kent. It's morning, so it's probably good morning. I want to see you. Picture time! That's so cute. Aww. Arr. And. That's adorable. Peaceful world. So let's go to our album? Endings? Uh. Okay, so we got a normal ending. So we did. I want to see you. That bastard, are you free this weekend? He'll steal you away. 
So I'm assuming... I'm sorry for keeping you waiting is the good ending for him, because that's the third world. The bad endings are fucking... I'm not the culprit. May you dream forever. Not bad. God. I'll get rid of those who hurt you. I wanted us to live together. I won't forget you. I'll take you with me. We'll be together forever. That's disturbing. Some of these are disturbing. I don't know. But anyway. So... And we can look at uh, the Kent Gallery and see... Oh, we missed some. What I really hate, though, is that you can't... Like, the Z key doesn't actually change the image. Oh, it does No, it doesn't. Like, I want to, like... I want to actually go through so you can, like... Oh, it changes it like that. That's what it does. But I want to, like... I want to be able to click on these and, like... So you can see... Like, the actual pictures. This is my favorite. I love this one. I think it's beautiful. The artwork is just gorgeous. Um... So we can just... I know this is a little long, but I just want to kind of see the... I'm, like, yelling at her in the pool. Kishin, kishin! I wonder if some of them, too, are from bad endings. Oh, look. Oh, we look so happy. It's adorable. Oh. Okay, he's a little wackadoodle, but I kind of love him. Oh, and the one with his parents. Okay. And we don't have these, and that's the one where he's being a snot about our dog. And there's us crying and telling him us we hate him. And so these are all other things that we don't. Okay, so this is the last one. And that's the saying goodbye one. Aw. Anyway, so that was that. And this is Yukio. Okay, so I wonder, because they seem to go in order, Toma seems to be like the messed up kind of ones. Uh, interesting. Like, I'll take you with me. <laughs> I can't wait to play the next one, but I will probably go through and try to get the good ending for Kent, um, possibly before I record the next world. Um, I'm probably obviously going to start that um, bef long before you guys watch this because I haven't even posted. Honestly, I've just recorded all of this and you guys haven't seen a single one of these yet. So... Yeah, I'm way ahead. So yeah, um, I can't sit there and say that like we won't know. I mean, I I think actually I think you can replay this scene, which is the end. So we might be able to uh, replay the end scenes for like the good endings and the bad endings if you guys really want to see them. Um, or if for some reason, after we play through all of these, if you guys are really into this and you really want to see the other endings, we can go through and play with a walkthrough and purposely play the bad endings or something. We'll figure it out. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this part up here. And when we come back next time, we will probably go again and do a different world. But I'll probably play the intro part with um, Orion again. Uh, on my own, I won't record that just because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. So, anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.